Hi everybody! Today I'm going to do a look that's inspired by Peaches Geldof. Now whether you love her or loathe her, it doesn't matter because I think she has a really lovely makeup look that she wears most of the time. It's a very simple brown eye with black eyeliner and she wears it winged but if you don't want to put the wing on you don't have to. And she wears a nice pink blusher and she wears lovely lovely red lips. So if you want to see how I did this look just keep watching. Okay so first I'm going to apply my eyeshadow base and I'm using Estee Lauder and it's double wear stay in place eyeshadow base and I just have it on my two ring fingers and I'm going to apply it to each eyelid just using my fingers and I'm just applying it right up to the brow bone okay. And Peaches wears a really, really nice, just really light, easy to wear brown on her lid. So I'm just going to use an eyeshadow by MAC and it is soft brown. And it's a matte and it's very, very nice and very easy to wear. And I'm just going to apply it with a 217 brush. So I'm just going to pick up the colour on the brush. I'm just going to sweep it across my lid just in a very casual way, it doesn't have to be perfect and she wears it just slightly above the crease so you can take it right up to just a wee bit above the crease and right down into the lash line She does seem to wear a bit under her, underneath her lower lashes. So I'm just going to take another bit and I'm using my MAC 219 brush, it's like the pencil brush. And I'm just going to take a bit under my eyes. On both sides, obviously. like so. And then I'm going to just take my 224 brush by MAC, this one, and I'm just going to give this all a blend. I find this brush much better just for blending it in and making sure that it is evenly spread out. So there we go, that's that part. And then Peaches wears black eyeliner on the top of her lash line, on, top, on her top lash line and nothing on her lower lash line. So I'm taking Black Track Fluid Line by MAC and I'm going to apply it with my brush that I just dropped and it is the MAC 266 Slanted brush and this is a special edition one so it's shorter than the normal ones. And I'm just going to dip it into the Black Track we all know what black track looks like. I'm just going to apply it along my upper lash line. Like so. I'm starting in the middle and working my way out. And be sure not to get too much on your brush at one go because it's easier to add to than to take it away. And then she wears a little flick on the outer corner. So I'm just going to basically turn the brush around so that it, and just press it on so that I get myself a nice little flick like so and just carry it on into the not quite all the way into the inner corner
And there we go, that's one eye done. And I'm going to do the other eye. Again, just a little bit of black track. And again, just turn the brush like that on its side, just to give you your little wing. And for your winged bit, just want it to come out slightly. It's as if you're carrying on this line straight on up. So that's the angle you sort of angle you sort of want to go for. And then I'm going to apply my mascara. put my lid back on my black track because I don't want it to dry out and I'm going to use for mascara, I'm using Clinique's can't see that it's lash doubling mascara and I'm going to apply it to my top lashes and my lower lashes and um, Peaches doesn't wear any eyeliner on her lower lash line it's just all on the top Now she has got very neat eyebrows and I'm just going to use my e.l.f. eyebrow kit to just tidy up the eyebrows and I'm just applying the gel side first I have to excuse my eyebrows at the minute because they do need to be waxed can't be bothered at the minute. I'm just using this to just give my eyebrows a bit of definition. And then I'm going to use the powder just to set the gel. Just all the way across my eyebrows. And always apply it in the direction of your hair growth. Like so. So there we go, that's our brows done. Now Peaches wears a nice pink blusher and she does seem to work quite high up on her cheeks. So today I'm going to use this one here and this is Koi Girl by MAC. I'm just going to apply it. I'm going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks because I don't want to go too high. But you can apply it whatever way you like. She does. There we go. And last but not least, she likes to wear red lipstick. And she does look lovely with her red lipstick. So I'm going to use, first of all, a um, lip liner. And I've just lifted this one out. It's the reddest one that I've got. I'll just have to see how it turns out. It's by number 17 and it's called Cinnamon Spice. I'm just going to outline my lips with this. just to give a bit of definition I'm just following my natural lip line a red lipstick by Estee Lauder and I'm just gonna take some under the brush and apply it to my lips. You can apply it straight from the tube if you want to but I think if you're using red then a lip brush will give you a much better finish. You're just basically filling in your lips with your nice red colour. So there we go, that's my finished look. That's my Peaches Geldof look. Obviously this is a very versatile look and it will go well with anybody really. And you can adjust it to whatever way you like. You can leave out the wing if you like. You can leave off the red lipstick and use your own favourite colour of lipstick. 
You can do absolutely anything you like with this look, so that's why I really, really like it. It's very simple and it's a nice, easy, everyday look. So thanks everyone for watching and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Bye!